What is up my fellow jewelers? Today we're making a double strand necklace. Ooh, I'm so excited. Yeah, I know we've made double strand necklaces on my channel. I know we've made multiple strand necklaces on my channel, but it is different. Let me show you. Let me show you. <gasps> oh, look how it sparkles. I love it. So the reason it's so different is because usually when you connect multi strands together, like this strand and this strand together, you would usually connect it right about here. You would connect them right about here and just have one chain. But these have their own chain. Are you serious? But they only have one class, so it is one necklace. And so I love this style necklace. It's just different, it's fun. So I'm gonna teach you how to make this multi-strand necklace. But before we get started, I would love for you to subscribe my channel and click that bell to get notifications. Also, if you are inspired by my jewelry making videos and you make your own creation, I'd love to see it. I'd love for you to go to my Facebook page. The link will be below where you can go to my Facebook page and I love for you to send pictures of your creation. I want to just drool over it. I want to celebrate with you. I want to see your creation. Okay, so let's start making it this beautiful jewelry piece. So you and me, let's get started. So this is what you're going to need to make the double strand necklace. I have my tools. I have my cutter pliers, my round nose pliers, my long nose pliers. For the material, I have four crimping beads, one lobster clasp, six split rings, my chain. Now I do have four chain and they're all seven inches long. So for the short strand, you're going to need three and a half inches worth of beads. For the long strand, you're going to need five inches worth of beads. Now this is five inches, just over five inches, but if you do five inches, it'll be just fine. And then I need wire to string through my beads. And so that it's really simple. This is the only material you need. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my strands. It doesn't matter which because they're all the same length. I'm going to take one of my strands. So I am going to take my split ring. I want to have my round nose pliers. Doesn't matter which pliers, but I'm going to have one of my pliers hold my, my split ring. And I'm going to take my chain and put the last link on my chain. And I'm going to just put it through. Yes. And I'm going to hold this. And then I am going to use my other pliers and I'm going to pull them together. So this, this is going this way and then this is going this way and I'm going to connect it together and there needs to be no gap, absolutely no gap. So since we are on a roll, I'm going to do that for four strands. I'm just going to put one split ring on one side for also four strands. So go ahead and do that. Okay, I put my last split ring on the last chain. Now I'm going to actually string my beads with the wire. So I'm gonna take my wire. I'm actually not gonna cut the wire. I prefer to just string it on the spool. And so I'm going to string my strand on the wire um, for the small strand. So the three and a half inches worth of beads I'm gonna uh, put on my wire. All right. I have strung my beads on the wire. I'm going to take a crimping bead and put my crimping bead through the wire. I'm gonna grab one of my chain. I'm gonna grab one chain and I am going to put it on the wire. So I have my crimping bead and then my split ring and I'm going to loop this wire around the, the split ring. So I'm looping around the split ring and then I am going to put it back through my crimping bead. So I'm gonna put it back through my crimping bead. So you see that? And then you, you want to have it so you have a little bit of give, a little bit of leeway. And I'm gonna take my long nose pliers and I'm gonna crimp my crimping beads. So there you go, you have that, which is great. Then I'm going to put my beads back through that wire. I'm not gonna cut that wire, I'm just gonna put my beads back through it. And then I'm gonna make sure there is no gap right here. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut this. I am going to cut just a bit, eh, that's a lot, that's a good amount. And then I'm gonna take another crimping bead and I am going to put my crimping bead on just like I did the last time, right? Put my crimping bead on. I'm gonna take one of the other chains, right? Cause I have another chain. I have four of these and I'm gonna put crimping bead, split ring, and I'm gonna put the wire around the split ring and I'm gonna put it back through the crimping bead. Now here's what I'm gonna do different on this side, right? Cause you don't 
want a gap this big you don't want that big gap so i am going to use my long nose pliers and this tail part this the wire part i'm going to pull it yes just like that i don't want to pull it too much because i do want a little give right so you don't want any gap in between and then I'm going to crimp the crimping bead. And now I'm gonna put, I'm gonna cut this wire just a little bit. I'm gonna cut just a little bit of the wire, right? Not too much. Um, and then I'm gonna put this wire back through my bead so I don't poke the person wearing it. Cause if it's out, if it's just hanging out, it will poke the person and it does not feel comfortable. So I'm gonna put it back through the bead. It's kind of hard, it's a little bit difficult. Um, but it's worth doing if you're a beginner, it might take you a while, but just keep going, keep practicing and put it through your bead. Okay. So I put it through. Yes, yes, yes. And it needs to go through the other bead. Perfect. So now what I have is, um, it looks like part of a necklace. It looks like one necklace. So I have finished this part so far and now I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did with this strand. I'm going to do it to this strand. So I'm going to string my beads through. I'm going to put it in um, this wire and then this wire on the other side and then we will do the next step after that. So go ahead and string your beads, put your chain on both sides and then we'll do the next step together. Okay, 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 okay. Now we just need to hook them together with the clasps. So I am going to take the split ring first. I am going to gr grab it with my pliers and then I'm gonna take just one, I'm gonna take the small strand first. It doesn't matter which one you do, but I'm doing the small strand first. Small strand first and I'm going to hook the chain in and I'm gonna take my long strand and I'm going to again hook the last link of the chain in to the split ring. I'm gonna hook it in. Okay, so now that they're both on, I am going to close up my split ring and I'm going to take one side, take the other, and I'm going to pull them together till there's no gap. You don't want a gap or your necklace will fall apart. And then I'm going to take my other split ring and I am going to do the same. I'm going to do my short strand first. I'm going to take my long strand, putting the last link through the split ring, just like the small strand. Okay, so I put them both through. I'm gonna take my lobster clasp and I'm gonna put it in the split ring as well. So I have my lobster clasp and my two chains. And then we get my long nose pliers and close it up. So I'm going to close up till there's no gap. I'm gonna make sure that they connect together. Okay, until they close and you can't see a gap. Oh, and that my fellow jewelers is how you make this double stranded necklace. Super easy. I love it so much. <gasps> Look, oh my goodness. I love it. I love that both the strands have their own chains. I love this necklace. If you like it as much as I do, give me a big old thumbs up, comment, share, and then thank you so much for tuning in. Before I go, I always love praying for my viewers. And as I was asking the Holy Spirit, what should I pray today? Um, the Holy Spirit said, pray for their sanity. Pray for the viewer's sanity. There is so much chaos going on in our world from Capitol Hill to elections to just injustice happening. I mean, there is so much going on and he just said to pray for your sanity. So just because the world's in chaos doesn't mean in here has to be chaos. And so I'm gonna pray for your sanity. So Holy Spirit, thank you that you can bring peace in this moment right now. And so God, I pray that you would pour peace over my viewers' mind, over their hearts. God, as they are watching what's going on in their world, God, I pray that they would not fear, but they would know that you have them in the palm of your hand. God, I pray for peace to cover their mind. I pray against insanity, God. I pray against chaos. I pray against fear. I pray that you would pour over peace in their mind right now. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye!